folks, how are you going? Today, I'm going out to do a bit of video quality testing on Watello. Uh, if you've seen my last videos, um, done some height range tests and a bit of messing around, a bit of rubbish, but I have noticed the video footage, the quality of it isn't all that good. I'm thinking, I'm looking around at some other YouTube videos and it should be better than this for 720. So, as you know, um, I'm not one to read manuals, <laughs> but it looks like you can actually adjust the photo the megapixel size in the settings and you can also adjust the video quality. So, what I'm going to do today is hit the nail on the head put the nail in the coffin or whatever and sort out what's going on so I'm going to do some uh, very low setting video quick up 360 fly around and I'm going to do the same at the highest uh, bitrate video and um, yeah we're going to check out the results I'll take a couple of quick happy snaps too and do a, um, a megabytes photo size comparison as well of the same shot and just see how much difference there is there, there is in um, this actual setting for the camera so I'm hoping that uh, it makes a significant difference and I noticed flying this indoors it's um, I really like to fly indoors too much sort of um, it's a little bit uh, pixely and the picture quality of video isn't very good for some reason but I think this is a bit more of an outdoory drone anyway. Okay, no worries. Well, let's get cracking. Let's go find somewhere to shoot some video. Okie doke. And if you haven't looked, check out my last video. I'll show you a hack on how to get this to go from 10 meters all the way up to 30 meters. Um, I've set mine on 20. Um, mainly because 20 is enough. You start to lose a Wi-Fi signal after about 20. Um, that's with my phone anyway. I've got an Apple phone. I'm going to test it on see if the Wi-Fi signal is any better on that But if you set it to 30 you're going to um, yeah, you'll lose signal completely So and what happens when this drone loses signals? It just sort of hovers there and it's up to you to try and find signal again Which I think could be a little bit dodgy, but anyway It's enough rambling. Let's go find a spot to shoot some video. Okay So as promised we put the colour up, all ready to roll. 30 meter height test. I don't think so, no. So what I'm going to do is do a uh, video. <clears throat> so to slow is do a video quality and photo taking quality test. So if you go into your menus of your tello, once it's connected, click on the more, and uh, photo quality can be normal or high. So. I'll set it on normal for this test for some snaps and I'm going to set the bitrate on the 0.5 meg bitrate which I believe is for the video I don't know what else it could be for now the EV is going to be set on zero so normal photo I won't set it on auto because I'm not sure what it defaults to on auto so I'll set this one on 0.5 go up spin around a couple of photos come back down and redo it and check out the results okay see just how much uh, of an improvement the lower setting is the improvement from the, the higher setting uh, to the lower setting alrighty let's take off hopefully there's no train coming There's a train coming, we're in trouble. Just getting here in the shade so I can see what's going on. I think my mobile device is pretty crappy, which is why I keep getting these ridiculous Wi-Fi flaming error thingies. So we're going to climb up here to... Yeah, that'll probably do us there. Okay, first of all, take up the photos. Hopefully you guys can see that. <coughs> There's a drone up there, hovering nice and steady. Take a couple of snaps, so... There's a picture there. Let's 
It was a very long picture, but it was a picture nonetheless. <laughs> Just spin around a bit. Let's take another photo there. Okay, the photo does take a couple of seconds to recognise for some strange reason, but anyway, hopefully it's taken the photo. So now we'll do a panoramic shot. Let's just get a bit more height. Let's come back down lower, there's no need to be right up there. Okay, let's do our spin around feature. One button. Okay, we'll do a 360. Okay, so it automatically records, which is pretty cool. So, and around she goes, capturing some video. So, as I said, this is the lowest setting for video, I believe. So, we'll see what it transpires. Full rotation takes approximately 19, 20, 1, 22, 23, 24, 25 seconds. Alright, very good. And it stops recording, so what I'm going to do now is I'll bring it down just so I know that uh, we started again from scratch. Bring her into land. And I'll just do a hand landing here. Hand landing confirmed. Okay. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, so keeping on going with things. Now I'm going to select high photo quality and I'm going to boost the video up to 4 meg. Okay. And we'll keep it on slow because that's pretty cool. And, okay, let's go again. Back to the same spot. Give or take a metre. And say so we're about here. Okay. A couple of happy snaps first. Put it on photo mode. Take a picture. Use one picture. And I think I spun around here. And right there to take another photo. Excellent. Okay. A little bit of breeze here today, which explains a bit of jitter. Normally it's quite steady. So I want to finish that photo. Okay, we'll flick over to video. Now let's do our fly around 360. Yeah, I know you probably don't need to land this to do this 360 fly around, but I did anyway. Grubby in there, isn't it? And as we know, this takes 25 seconds. So I'm not going to obviously be able to give you any results here and now because, well, Obviously, um, hmm, I can't see him on the computer. Oh, really got taken out by a couple of pigeons. Oh, yeah. Okay, so here endeth our comparison. Now let's just do something a bit silly. Let's bring it back over here. I just want to show you guys what's going on with the uh, this bounce feature it's got on this drone. Which is pretty cool. So if you go for the bounce, which is bounce mode, okay, if you actually put your hand underneath it, it's going to bounce from there. Otherwise it's going to go to the ground and when it gets a couple of 30 centimeters off the ground it bounces. So in effect you um, Give it a kick, give it a wake, keep hitting it. You be careful though, because if you keep pushing it up, it's going to um, eventually hit something. So, 
Ooh, that's pretty cool. <laughs> we can go out here. What we're going to do now is we're going to do a flyby in slow speed and fast speed. And again, let's hope the train doesn't come. So I'm going to go down the lines. This is set currently to put a hurry up before the uh, battery runs out. This is currently set to um, slow. So let's do a slow run down at full speed. And then a slow run back at full speed. It's a pity, uh, it's 2.7 metres a second. Okay, back again, forward is 2.7, I got to. And running backwards, you're looking at 2 metres a second running backwards. So that's it. That's our slow speed. Okay, that's quickly flicking them over to high speed or fast speed. And let's check the difference. Full speed ahead. Whoa, that was gnarly. Uh, that's going 6 metres a second. Bloody hell. And it's gone too. Forward 6 metres, 6.4 I believe we got to. And reverse 6 metres again. Um, yeah, danger Will Robinson. Let's, uh, let's bring that over here. That's pretty quick. 6 metres a second. That's killer. Uh, I suggest you do this with the remote because um, with the phone it's pretty sketchy. There it goes sideways yawing. Sideways yaw is six meters a second as well. So, um, that's pretty cool. Okay. Let's do a quick flip. Are we below 50%? Yeah, we are. We still can't flip it. So, let's just do that again. Get a bit of height this time. Okay. Full speed ahead. See if we can beat 6.4. 7.6 meters per second, guys. And I've lost it completely. I have no idea where it is. Um, that's interesting guys, what happened then is it, uh, it landed, without me landing it, <laughs> so, yeah, word of warning, the fast is pretty quick, <laughs> uh, yeah, nearly had some trouble, as you can see I've still got the prop guards on, for a very good reason, because I tend to do these crazy stupid things, okay, um, yeah, I like slow, Slow's good. I think I'm just out of power. And something funny's going on here. I'm, uh, I think the wind's causing me to lose control. I'm trying to go forward, and it's not moving or well, sideways anyway. Yeah, a little bit too much wind. All right, let's get out of the wind here. So all in all, I'd say that was a um, pretty, pretty huge success. Seven meters a second. I'm not sure what these are rated to, but this is a pretty steady drone. This is probably steady enough for me to fly in here, quite possibly. I think it will go a bit windy. We're running out of power, so. We'll go for a little wander back over the car. And we'll be out of juice by then. So I hope you got something from this, guys. Here we go, running out of power now. I hope you got something from this test, uh, video test, and a bit of a speed test.
and we're just about ready to oh, landing because it's critically low. Maybe if you put your hand there, it won't land on it. It says landing. Oh, it's coming over to me. The aircraft is landing, well it's not. Now it's landing. Okay. Oh terrific. Okay. Well, that was a pretty cool test. Pretty happy with that. And I've got a warning error code 13. Okay. The red light flashing. I have some investigating to do. Don't know if you guys have seen that before, but we'll um get back and go and see what that means. So I couldn't let it wait, I had a quick look on the, on the internet. Um, the error code that I had up, error code uh, 17 or whatever it was, relates just to the battery, so I was just showing the battery was flat. However, I found a maximum speed that, that states this thing travels at 28 kilometers an hour. I just got mine up to about 7 or 8, I don't know how it can do 28. Um, yeah, maximum flight time 13 minutes, well, good luck with that. <laughs> No worries. All right, that's all good. Hey, uh, <laughs> take it easy, guys. See you next video. Uh, happy flying, and stay tuned for more. Don't forget to hit that subs and like button. Good on you guys. Bye for now.